Hello Planning Masters and welcome back to the channel. Today we're setting up June in my bullet journal and June is always a special month because it's my birthday month. So I'm always trying to do something extra fun. And this month I am creating a tea theme. So I hope you like this setup. And if you're new here, my name is Masha and I'm creating videos on bullet journaling, doodling, creativity. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. Okay, let's get planning! First of all, my supplies. I am using my Square Archer and Olive journal. I will be using all the more my Zebra Mind Liners. There is also going to be some washi tape and of course some fine liners everything will be linked in the description okay so you already know that the theme is tea and this month i'm finally coming back to my favorite color scheme aka my zebra mind liners so i am super in love with the way this theme came out and the colors and everything it's just exactly the way I had it in my mind. I think one of the things that really helped me with the theme and generally with kind of going back to my own style was a little spread I created in my bullet journal before where I basically kind of just listed some of the things that uh, are the reasons why I keep bullet journaling and I also set up kind of a weekly schedule for myself and I don't know, just creating that spread really motivated me to go back to it and well, I'm feeling pretty happy about it because honestly in May I have not used my bullet journal whatsoever. One little thing that I think you might notice as we go is that I actually forgot to add washi tapes. So all the washi tape is added off the camera. Next page is a monthly log and without even thinking about it, I made a calendar view once again. But no regrets here, calendar view has always been my favorite and um, I feel like it just looks perfect. However, I don't actually have that much space here for my monthly to-do list and lately I've been kind of using it a lot. So maybe in the future I will add like a huge brain dump spread because it really helps so much to offload everything that's on your mind and just to make sure that um, I actually accomplish all the things I want to accomplish. And of course there is a blog post, the link is in the description and you can check there all the pictures to have kind of a clearer view of all the pages I created. Next up is a page with trackers and honestly I should have added S here but it would not be centered and I realized that only halfway through the header so well this header just say tracker and that's okay. For moon tracker I went with this little design with a um, tea kettle and some circles. Originally I was thinking about maybe teacups or um, maybe like little tea bags but honestly I realized that I don't have it in me to 
draw that many elements. Imagine drawing 30 teacups. I, I just didn't have it in me. So I decided to go with just circles. After all, why not? And um, I also went with six different habit trackers here and uh, only now I'm realizing that six is probably too much. May was very chaotic for me and I, well, let me be truthful, I did not follow most of my habits and I didn't do any planning and I'm kind of in a recovering stage right now from all that hiatus. So probably six habits is a little bit too much, but we shall see. Maybe the trackers I'm not going to be using. I can just cover up with like a sticker or something like that. Next up is the doodling challenge and I must say I really really missed it. I keep talking about my maid being so crazy that I haven't done anything like no bullet journaling, no doodling, no habits, nothing and um, I'm very excited to go back to it in June especially because I think the theme for uh, June doodling challenge will be my favorite things or maybe everything pink i have not decided yet but i am excited and in case you didn't know this doodling challenge is the one we are doing with my patrons so if you want to learn more or maybe even join our patreon family and get tons of amazing rewards for your bullet journal be sure to check the link in the description And you can see here I'm changing my Zebra Mind Lighters. I've been using them so much ever since I bought them and it's been several years uh, that actually some of them run out of ink. So I really, really should update them. I just keep forgetting because lately I have been using more of my Tombos and Calligraphs. But of course Zebra Mind Liners are the ones that are my, I would say, like true colors. Anyways, here we are at the gratitude log and as always I went with a simple header and then a little doodle in the corner to symbolize the theme for the month. Gratitude log is also something I have not done in May. Again, I've done nothing in May. So I'm kind of excited to go back to it. And I love that the way I do my gratitude log, it's kind of almost like a memory page with different doodles and lettering. And yeah, it's always really fun to create it. So that's my June setup. Let me know in the comments what theme you chose and I'll see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye!